talk about it all the time. It's it's like um, what, what, how do you put it? Self awareness, you know, like accountability. Like you lost, you lost, you you lost. That was you. That was not the weather. It was not the the rules. All oh, the rules. That's why I lost. No, you lost. Oh, the ref made a mistake. Oh, it was my coach. Or yeah. like everyone's got it. It's like man, stop it. Stop. That's not how you get better. Like that's the best advice I can give people. Like people don't want to hear it because it's not the, it's not the story that they that makes them feel good, right? It makes them feel like crap. So they go like, I don't want to hear that. I want to feel good. But it really comes down to that. Progress in anything you do has to do with accountability. For sure. And it, you got to be hard on yourself. And it sucks because it's painful. Like you lost and you know, look at yourself in the mirror and going, I made this mistake and that mistake and I didn't train hard enough and I wasn't intelligent enough. My diet wasn't sharp. Like I always tell my students this. Ask yourself, did you do 100% of what was possible for you to win? Bingo, yeah. And the answer is always no, I haven't. Like, and I don't think there's been a single tournament where I did 100% move. No, no way. Like, I could there's have been. Always, there's, there's always room. There's you know? always room for improvement. Are you? Are you? So what? Why are you talking about the referee, man? Yeah. Why are you even talking about your coach and your training partners and the, your girlfriend? Like, stop it, man. And when I see people like that, even when they're very talented, I go, he's not gonna make it. I already know, because every person who does well in, in anything they do in life, and I truly believe this, they have one thing in common. When they mess up, they blame themselves. For sure. I always tell people, taking full accountability for everything you do is empowering. Yeah. Right? Because that also means you have the ability to fix it. Yeah. When I start blaming everybody else, I lose control. Yeah. Right? Oh, the referee cost me a loss. Well, I can't do anything about that. No need to improve. No need to improve. Right? Yeah. You know, so now, like, take responsibility for everything. If you have, you know, that high level of accountability, now you also have a high level of power. Right? But... People shy away from that, right? They, I, I think that a lot of the problem is just ego. You know, we have one thing I was telling my girlfriend about because we're talking about homeschooling and all that. I think one thing in modern society is that failure is seen as like a stigma. You know, it's like oh, if you if you got a bad grade in a test, you yeah. know, it's like oh, like and your parents get mad at you yeah. and yell at you and all that. Like it shouldn't be that way, right? Yeah. Because in real life, you love your failures. Yeah, in yeah. real life. Failure is going to happen, and you're going to have to learn from it, you know, but it seems like our schools and modern education is kind of institutionalized to sort of give you, like, always pass, never fail, and don't take big chances, just People, go on this, like, steady path that's yeah. easy to, to manage, but you're not going to get big results anymore, yeah. you know what I mean? Because yeah. you know, in real life, you have to take big chances every so often, calculated risks. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. They don't work, you just fix yourself up, keep going, you know, but... When you're very uh, risk averse, it's hard to get anything done, you know. And if you're going to be a competitor, it's high risk already. Fifty percent. Statistically, it's fifty percent. It's a horrible right? investment. So you got to be ready for that, you know. Yeah. I think Kip Kohler used to do that speech on every Naga. He goes, yeah. "Half of the people in the room are going to lose in the first match." Yeah. You know I mean, so like, don't be worried about it. You know, like yeah. it's going to happen. Well, it's uh, there's a like Nietzsche would say something about called amor fati, like the love of faith. So you should love your losses. Because your losses are really not losses. They're empowering. Yeah. That's how you learn. You get better by you know, embracing that. You embrace the pain. You know? you, and that's what martial arts is all about. That's what improvement is all about, is embracing the hardship. Like There's a correlation <laughs> yeah. between hardship and growth. Not only in your, Think about the gym. The harder you lift, the heavier you lift, or the harder you sprint, the bigger the physical improvement, right? Yeah. That goes for everything you do, man. The more you struggle, the more you grow. And... You know, and the you know when people want a quick reward, they think they miss out the on the true on the true valuable lesson. 